हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल नोक डेवलपर वेलकम टू अ कैप्टिवेटिंग जर्नी ऑफ आवर सेकंड पार्ट फॉर व्हाट्सएप क्लोन ऐप विद क्लीन आर्किटेक्चर यूजिंग कॉटलैंड एंड्राइड स्टूडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना कंप्लीट द सिक्योर ऑथेंटिकेशन इंप्लीमेंटेशन इन आवर एंड्राइड ऐप गेट रेडी टू अनलॉक द सीक्रेट्स ऑफ यूजर वेरिफिकेशन एज वी डाइव इनटू द फैसिनेटिंग प्रोसेस ऑफ क्रिएटिंग एन ऑथेंटिकेशन यूज केस सेटिंग अप डिपेंडेंसी इंजेक्शन यूजर एंड डैगर हेल्ड एंड हार्नेसिंग द पावर ऑफ द ऑथेंटिकेशन व्यू मॉडल अलोंग द वे वी विल एनकाउंटर चैलेंजेस मेक क्रिटिकल एडजस्टमेंट्स एंड विटनेस द आर्ट of debugging in action so buckle up and prepare to embark on an exciting adventure that will strengthen your app's security and user experience now let's dive into the implementation of the authentication use case class the backbone of our authentication system this class will serve as a guardian expertly wrapping the authentication use case and seamlessly interacting with the functions implemented in the auth repository together we will construct a robust kotlin class named authentication use case that elegantly implements the authentication use case by injecting the auth repository object using the magical in at inject annotation in the constructor we will gain access to the repository's powerful functions brace yourself as we unravel the secrets of seamless authentication next we want we gonna call the necessary functions within the authentication use case to handle different authentication tasks we are going to call the phone number sign in function and pass the phone number and activity parameters to authenticate with the phone number similarly we are gonna implement other functions such as is user authenticated which returns true or false and get user id function which returns a string and which means the user id of the particular user and also utilizing the corresponding sign in with auth credential function from the auth repository additionally if you encounter an error due to a missing suspend function you can either create a suspend function or utilize coroutines to handle the asynchronous tasks within the authentication flow but wait our journey doesn't end there we are about to embark on a thrilling chapter where we unlock the power of dependency injection using dagger held by creating a packaged aptly named di and crafting a meticulously annotated with module and installing a singleton component class called whatsapp module we will build a solid foundation for our authentication feature with the flick of a wand we will provide the firebase auth and firebase firestore instances using the enchanting add provides and singleton annotations and that's not all we will also unveil the auth repository by skillfully injecting the firebase auth instance into its constructor and the authentication use case by empowering it with the auth repository instance after this create a whatsapp application class by extending it to application and add this whatsapp application class to manifest file the stage is set and the magic is about to unfold as the sun sets on dependency injection we find ourselves at a pivotal moment it's time to harness the power of the authentication we model class a key player in our authentication saga with the class appropriately adorned with the prestigious add inject and add hilt we model annotations we enter a realm of endless possibilities by extending the class with we model we tap into the super powers of android we model features together we will unravel the mysteries of authentication logic and gracefully handle the ever changing authentication states get ready to witness the birth of a powerful ally in our authentication quest now that we have implemented the authentication use case set up the dependency injection using a dagger hilt and created the authentication view model class we can proceed to utilize these classes to handle authentication tasks now before implementing any code inside the authentication view model class we will create the otp bottom sheet dialog fragment first to get the user input for otp which he she will receive and on their device now we will start from where we left off in the previous video and we will also make some changes to the repository implementation but let's remove the verification id here because we will be using the sign in with the phone number method implement the credential based sign in within this repository itself and uh, to begin with let's create a new fragment called otp fragment it will serve as a bottom sheet fragment for entering the otp the fragment can be created as a blank fragment by extending the bottom sheet dialog fragment next let's set up the layout for the otp input boxes we will use six edit text views for entering the otp digit we will set their dimensions input type and other properties additionally we can include a text view for displaying a prompt like enter the otp here now we will need to handle the input verification of the otp we will set up text change listeners for each otp box when the user enters a digit we will move the focus to the next box automatically once the user enters all six digits we will retrieve the otp value and proceed with verification now as per our otp fragment comes to live we realize the importance of seamless communication between fragments and activities fear not for that we have a sacred weapon a mutable state flow variable picture the flow of information effortlessly cascading from the main activity to the otp fragment as the otp value flows seamlessly between the two we create an unbreakable bond the otp is ready to take its place in the grand authentication ceremony in the otp fragment when the user completes entering the otp we will retrieve the otp value and set the value to the otp value mutable state flow object which we created inside the main activity and after that in the auth repository implementation where we call the activity bottom sheet function add one more line which is calling the sign in with, with auth credential method and provide the auth credential and now for getting 
the auth credential here we will use phone auth provider dot get credential method in which we need to pass the verification id which we already have in this on code send functions parameter and other thing which we need to pass is the otp which we will get by collecting the otp value multiple state flow of main activity and after this in the authentication view model we will handle the different states of the authentication process we can display loading messages using tools when the authentication is in progress show error message if there are any error and perform specific action when the authentication is successful now in the main activity we will create an instance of the authentication view model using the by view by view models delicate we will also set an on click listener on the proceed button to trigger the phone number authentication process we will retrieve the phone number from the edit text view and pass it to the view model and also provide the activity instance which is this now before running the app we need to set up the authentication process in the firebase by first clicking on authentication option and then we click on the get started button you get these options now choose phone because we are implementing the phone authentication like i'm gonna enable this phone authentication process and here we can provide the test phone numbers for testing also okay so i'm gonna provide the phone number here plus nine one and one two three four five six seven eight nine and zero and the verification code for this number should be six five six five six five let's just add it okay now our phone number is set and also the phone authentication okay now let's run the app and as i expected our adventure wouldn't be complete without a fair share of challenges and unexpected twist as we prepare to run the app we encounter hurdles that test our skills fear not interpret developers for we possess the ultimate weapon debugging we will plunge into the depths of our cold placing strategic breakpoints and unveiling the mysteries hidden within with each challenge conquered our authentication process grows stronger more secure and even more enchanting okay so here we get some error which is it can't create an instance of authentication view model for resolving this actually we need to annotate over all our all fragments and activities with android entry point and application class with at hilt android app now let's rerun the app and see what's gonna happen okay so we rerun the app but still we are not able to authenticate properly and this time we also didn't get any error so now how we gonna resolve this here comes the debugging we are going to put some debugging points basically the breakpoints and see what's happening at those breakpoints now open the app and start the debugger so here we are getting after click on button so first issue we get is we are not providing the plus 91 with the phone number entered on the device let's change this and rerun the app to see if it's working out now or not it's still not working let's start the debugger again now here we get the one more issue we created phone auth options object but didn't call the phone auth provider dot verify phone number function and providing the options object and build from also we didn't call the build function for phone auth options object now let's again run the app again we get some issues and this time we get illegal state exception as it violates flow invariant error in locket says that emission is happening from another coroutine child of one coroutine expects the child of other coroutine as the flow collector is not thread safe we can't do concurrent emissions so let's use channel flow builder instead of flow as the error suggesting replace flow with channel flow and emit with try and send try send and run the app again again there is some error and this time it's not getting the verification proof so let's start the debugger again and this time we found out that we initialize the variable otp value which is of my mutable state flow type with blank space and that's why it executes the function with verification id and blank space so for resolving this simply add a check for non-blank string one more thing i forgot to add here is that we are not emitting from the, this on code sent so let's do that also and now we are all good to go let's run the app and see if we are getting the success to share or not and see bang we are getting it now and there you have it within our app now capable of authenticating users through phone verification we stand to implement the phone authentication process in firebase is enabled our app is perfectly configured with the necessary dependencies and the authentication view model is ready to make dreams come true so go forth flow developers armed with the knowledge and experience gained on this journey and enhance your own authentication features may your code shine brightly and your users feel the magic of secure authentication happy coding.